Hi, you baby. Look at your face, it's all dirty, eh? I'm gonna give you a bath. I'm gonna give you a winter cut, right? Okay, let's go into the bath. Hi, baby. Hello, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be giving this little Yorkie his winter trim. It's starting to get cold here. And uh, he usually gets short for the summer. So we're gonna keep his hair longer. So I'm just gonna give him a bath and a blow dry and cut his hair. So I'm not gonna show the whole bathing, I'm gonna show you his haircut. All right, so he's all bathed and blow dry. I'm just combing them out. He's got a few little knots, nothing to worry about. They come right out. I like to finish combing them with this fine tooth comb. It's a finishing comb. It's really nice. It'll catch any little knots or pin knots that you didn't catch with the regular comb. So I give them a thorough combing before I clip the hair. Very nice. All right, so for the winter cut, um, basically, I'm not gonna take anything off the body because it's pretty short and he, he has actually th a very thin coat. So we really don't need to cut that part. So what I'm gonna be doing is cutting uh, the feet, a little bit on the legs, maybe the length of the belly, you know, the private areas, and the head. All right, so when I do the feet, I've already done the pads. I've already shaved out the pads. So it doesn't have a lot of hair. And basically what I'm gonna do is just trim around the foot. Sometimes I use my clippers. I do have a video on that. My clippers just to trim around the feet. Sometimes these small feet are kind of hard to do. And I go a little bit higher right here, like on the um, the wrist area. Because snow is coming and you're gonna get hairball or snowballs all over the legs, but the dog is so small that you'll probably be full of snow anyways. But it, every bit helps. So basically I just trim the foot and I just go right back at the back of the leg. Just like that. I don't cut anything at the front. Just around the feet and just at the back of the leg. There. So I'll do the same thing. Just go right around his feet. And go straight up. Being really careful not to cut the pad there. I can see it from here, right there. So I just go straight up. And then what I do with the back leg is I trim right here, just an even line, just to make it look neat and tidy. And go down. Or you can go up. So it didn't cut off much, but just for it to look, you know, like it's been cut and tidied up. And then I do the belly, just comb everything down. So I put my my hand underneath his belly to make sure I know where his little uh, pee pee is, so I don't clip that. And then you know his belly's right; it goes right around, so I don't want to cut it right against the belly. When I did his groin, I already did his groin. I kind of shaved up above his little pee pee, just so that he doesn't get uh, urine on that, urine all over his hair. There we go. I gotta fix that front foot. I see some stick outs. You can always comb, always comb and check your work and you can fix it if anything's sticking out. There, now let's go on to the other side. Here, now I'll do the same thing. I 
Just trimming around the foot. And then I'm going to trim the back of it. Oh, there's a little knot. Okay, we can check that at the end as well. And since I'm here, I like to do the belly and then I'll go on to the back leg. It's just the angle that I'm on and the camera's in the middle there. So since I'm here, I'll do underneath the belly there. And I'm just lowering my head down so I can see where the pee pee is. Here we go. Okay, your back foot now. All right, so I'm just gonna trim around the foot. I'm just using a very light touch here. The hair is so thin and fine. Okay, I can get that later. Let's have a look. There, then I'll comb it down. And just make a line, a straight line, just to tidy it up. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna do his head. And you might notice this little fence here. Um, I put this here across my grooming table because this dog, you know, is really small. And my table's really big. And so he kept going right to the back, right to the back corner, and my arms, you know, aren't so long. Um, so this cuts my table in half, and he doesn't get to go back there. So it's a much better groom. I don't have to always pull him uh, toward me. So I thought I would tell you that because uh, it's a good thing to have if you're a groomer. Alrighty, you ready little guy? Alright, so usually with the face um, that you can see, turn your head honey, the owner has been cutting the fur, well you can probably see he doesn't want to turn his head, <laughs> camera shy, anyway the owner has been trimming up in the nose here, so I'll just have to blend that in. So I usually use my clippers here, the ones that are um, adjustable, adjustable clippers, they're quieter. You can adjust the blade to a 10 right down to a 40. I put it in the middle. So I usually I start with the little area right in front of the eyes, between the eyes. It's called the stop area. And I gently clip some hair out of them. I'm not going all the way to the skin, but in the corners, I go closer to the skin. Get rid of all that brown hair, the stained brown hair. Alrighty. And then, since I have my clippers in my hand, I will clip his ears. I just move all the hair, I pull the hair down. And I just do the tips of the ears. Just the very tips on both sides. Actually, I can go closer on that one. There we go. That's better. I used a 30. Just so I can get all those hairs on the tips. The very, very tips. 
All right, do the other side. Okay, don't duck down too low. Nobody can see you, no. All right, so. There. All right, so now what I'll do is I'll trim the bangs. I comb all the hair. I usually let it lay like it is. Come here, honey. Okay, this is where it's difficult. You gotta get the dog's head in a right position. I usually like to lower the head. Hopefully they look down. Just comb that forward. And I'm looking at the side of the dog like that. And then I trim whatever's hanging in front of the eyes. And then I'll go and check it in the front. All right, now I'm gonna finish up her face. I'm gonna use the comb attachment that goes onto this clipper. This is a number zero. It just slides right on. And I put it on the 40 setting, which is all the way to the end. And uh, let's see how much hair it takes off because the owner wants the face short anyways. Come here. Let's start under here. Oh yeah. So I'll use this and then I'll just uh, go back and use my scissors. And I'm just clipping the way that their hair grows. I'm just going right over top of the ears there. It's not taking off much, but didn't want much off anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna have to fix that. There we go. Definitely fix that with my thin and shears. Do you want a cute little face? Hey, your mommy cut all that off your hair. Mm, your face. All right, I'm gonna use the scissors for the rest of it. Come here, sweetie. I'm just gonna tidy this hair up that's on top of the nose. It's just sticking right up there. Yeah, his hair tends to grow upwards. Come here, baby. It grows up into the eyes. So what I do is I comb it that way, and then I clip it. Because as soon as he goes home and goes to the you know, to sleep and lies down. He stands up and the hair is like just covering the eyes. That's why the owner cuts the hair there. So I comb it into the direction that it sticks up and I cut it. Right, buddy? You're so cute. Yes, you are. All right, so hopefully you can see this. This side's shorter than the other side. And then I turn them to the side and I get out any of those hairs that stick beyond his nose, that stick out. So I like it like flat. There, so anything I can see. Oops, got a big whisker there. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll fix that up in a minute. Yeah, I'm just randomly combing here and there. Now I'm not squeezing his neck, I'm just holding him this way, because if I don't hold him, he will be all over the place. So now I'm going to trim the ears. All right, so when I trim the ears, what I do is I comb everything down. I fold the ear. And I trim along that line to match the tip. And also I trim the very, very ends of what I clipped earlier. 
or like that. And then I'll do the other side as well. Sorry, I think my hands will be in the way for this one. I'm just gonna do the same. Aw, and you're looking cute, look at you. All right, so that's basically it, what I do for the winter. And now I just uh, kind of go over him with my thin and shears, especially the head, anything that's not, you know, even. I even it out. So that's it, that's what I want to show you. You don't really have to cut the body hair for the winter if it's got a very fine, um, thin coat. There, look at you, and you're looking so much cuter. Yes, you are. I think I just gotta trim these sticky outies right here because they're gonna grow right in his eyes. Those whiskers, too. Look at them. Mm -hmm. There we go. <laughs> you're so cute. Yes, you are. There. There you go. So hopefully you liked my video. I hope you learned something. And make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Okay, bye-bye.